My name is Nikita Ducro, and I am half Swiss and half American. I mean, I definitely couldn't call myself a street rider, but I try to ride a little bit of everything. Contests have always been something that I could use to push myself. I do well under pressure, I think, because I don't have all that extra time to get in my head. That's why we do what we do, because you get that rush, wanting to do something, getting over the fear of doing it, and then finally just stomping it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Growing up, Nikita was a handful. She was doing soccer competitively until about 12, and then she just got really bored with it. Her anxiety started ramping up a little bit. All I could think about was, I'm gonna be 30 years old, still living in my parents' basement. I'm not gonna be able to move out. I'm not gonna be able to get a job or function. And that's like a really scary feeling. I started pedaling around in the driveway. She would just do, you know, bunny hops and just little things. And little by little, she would get these like little ramps and then the ramps started getting bigger and bigger. You know, I wanted to go to the skate park and then after that, I wanted to go to my first competition. I was always that kid that at school, I would be doing the lights during the school play because I didn't want to be in front of people talking. So that part of it, it's kind of funny that now here I am like having to do exactly what I was running away from. It can be overwhelming, but at the same time, that's part of growing up and that's part of life. Being with Swiss Cycling now, it's great because it's come with a lot of support that we didn't have before. But I think the biggest thing was really just being able to represent this side of my family, this side of my heritage. It makes me love that she's a great role model for her brothers, but also for the next generation of BMX riders, for women in sports, and for the young generation too. So we're here right now in Geneva, Switzerland at my grandparents' house where we would spend our summers as kids. She really had that duality of the cultures. So she had the American culture through me and then the Swiss culture through Jean-Francois. Being back here again now is really special because it's been a while since she's been back to Geneva. One of the places my grandma would always take us, because it's right down the street, is uh, Plain Palais. A few years ago, they built a skate park there, and it happens to be pretty much the best skate park in all of Switzerland. Coming here with my bike is just really cool to reconnect, basically, why I started riding in the first place, riding and having fun, how it's supposed to be. Our big thing is when she has that smile on her face, that's what really makes us happy. We didn't grow up thinking like, okay, one day we're gonna be in the Olympics. It just wasn't really a thing. So to show the world what freestyle BMX is, is a really cool opportunity and something I'm excited to try and go for and hopefully make it. You know, when it's their goal, then it becomes our goal too. And I'm very excited for her. Yeah. 